This is an old windjammer fairing, windjammer SS. It's, it's in pretty tough shape. Of course, he's <laughs> really tough. But it came on a, uh, one of the motorcycles my brother had got. It was a Honda CB400, the four-cylinder super sport. Kind of an unusual bike. And it was a weird deal in that he got the bike. He bought a tractor at a farm sale. And the guy who owned the tractor said, oh, you want that Honda? He just gave him that bike. But it had this horrible fairing on. No, the bike itself was kind of a nice bike. So took the fairing off and got the regular, wind, you know, the regular headlight housing and stuff and threw this thing away. But I got to looking at this, and this has got a nice little headlight bucket, uh, thin. You know, normally you've got a lot of wiring in the headlight. You know, they're all, all of the bike's wiring is in that headlight. Well, I don't need that for the one bike I'm putting together. This has got a very nice little thin headlight bucket, but it is a 7-inch headlight. So I got to scrap this rest of this contraption out and, and figure out how to get that headlight bucket out of there. Because, you know, part of the reason, this is actually a halogen headlight again. Now, I'd have to say, you know, I've been running that LED going on my bike, and that's a 7-inch, and this is a good Phillips halogen. So, I have another one of them LED bulbs that would fit right in this. And I've been impressed with that LED, I'll have to admit that. Uh, to the point where I actually went and replaced my taillight bulb with an LED one. Because normally your taillight bulbs, um, they can go out, but it's usually caused by vibration because you get a lot of vibration back there. The actual ones for a motorcycle are, are built heavier than the ones for, like, a car. But I figured this LED should be able to take the vibration. And so we'll see. But I think i have got to figure out a way of getting that baby out of there. I don't know quite. It's got a knob in here that you can adjust the tilt. And maybe if I unscrew that all the way, well, my cat ain't being any help. But hopefully there's, you know, there seems to be two points there that it can modify to, to mount on a headlight bracket. Yeah, you're a friendly gray cat. But I have to say, I am impressed with the, the LED version. We were not impressed with this windjammer. That is a big hunk of, of junk, and she is broke up. Uh, fairly good, like the windshield is broken in the corner here, but a guy could maybe make some use of that plexiglass in, you know, some kind of a small windscreen or fly screen, as I like to call them. So I'll save the plexiglass. And I guess maybe her in this one turn signal lens seems to be intact. So I could keep that in case somebody actually needs one of those sometime. So I'm not particularly fond of those big damn fairings. Just awkward. They hang way out in front. And, you know, I like I run that little quarter fairing on my bike. I like that a lot more. I just tie a couple of cats in front of the handlebars, that would work. I got cats to spare. <laughs>